So there's an item in RuneScape, or should I say a piece of equipment <laughs> that every single one of us coveted at some point. I'm talking about the luxurious fire cape, the first true PVM challenge, proof that you are in fact uh, good. Now I've put this item off for many years since uh, I'm scared shitless of PVMing because I, uh, I suck at this game. I got under 200 Barrows KC and like 15 or 16 uh, Seracnus KC, but that changes today. I will make a stand. I will get the cape today and I will beat Chad and I will prove that I am indeed good and I do get the highest number of bitches. Please, Amy, call me. I've changed. I'm, I'm a new man. So the gear for my first run uh, ever, I guess was black dehyde with the blowpipe and amethyst starts, uh, fury bearers gloves and ezonaut helm and just prayer monos. In my inventory I had two bastion drinks, uh, brews and restores, purple sweets and dragon darts for the main man Jaddy, Jad the Mad, give me a fire cape or I will get sad. First couple of waves no problem, I was cool, calm and collected, I knew it would be, you know, a while until the harder wave, so I was really just not trying to get hit by the little, uh, the, the bird things. I get to wave 43, which is supposedly, like, the point where the, the middle of the fight caves... What the fuck am I saying? Wave 43 signifies half the, the total damage that you, you get on a fire cape attempt. I can't fucking talk, what the fuck is going on? Wave 43 represents half the damage from the fight cave run, alright? Jesus. Nice. So we were looking good. No brew sips, a couple of super stores gone, but that, that was about it. My confidence was uh, through the roof at this moment. Wave 50, I was trapped in the other guys behind the mage boys. It was all going fantastic, like a cool summer night evening with the boys. Now, I'm not gonna lie, on around wave 55, 54, 55, I started feeling it, alright? I kept I keep lying to myself, you know, like, you got this, you're fine, check it off, you're beautiful, you have the girthiest dick. But let me tell you guys, I was, I was fucking screaming internally. Okay, okay, that's good, we got two trapped. One coming over here, that's melee. I gotta let him come close. Then jump in the middle, just, you just gotta come. I feel like I'm talking to my uncle. Now, while I was shitting myself via anxiety, I remember that the wiki said that wherever the orange mage spawned, uh, that's where Jed would spawn as well. And in that moment, I had a, I, I had a, a fucking surge in anxiety and my heart rate was going insane. The s... Jed appears and I go so fucking silent while I'm concentrating that you could hear the sweat dripping down from my lower back to my ass crack. As soon as I start attacking him, I pray mage while he hits me with range and I get hit with a 38. Now I'm panicking. I'm panicking even more because in my head I'm like, I'm low HP, I'm low HP. Like that's it, I'm, I'm a die now. Somehow I managed to collect myself. I was just gonna pray correctly, calm down, drink a brew whenever I got the chance. I was just trying to do one action at a time and not get sent back to the entrance where everyone will laugh at me, fuck you Mark. I get Jed to half health and then the healer showed up. I did not know how hard it was to see these little fuckers within the cave. And I don't know what happened but I just clicked on two of them and I was like, oh well, maybe I can just out DPS Jed if he doesn't have two healers, uh, well, healing him. So I just kept going with praying his attacks and attacking him. Jed was almost at full health when I noticed that this wasn't really working and I had to get the healers off of him to, and to do that I had to rotate around Jed as to not get hit with the melee. So I'm like okay let's go to the side and I get hit. I get hit with an 80. I thought I had prayed right and I did just not fast enough and I get sent back to the entrance and I, I kind of play life. No, was I was I ever good enough? Is this all worth it? Like, what what is the meaning of it all? Round two, baby, let's go. <laughs> so I changed some stuff for the second run. Inventory wise, I swapped the two Bastion potions for Divine Bastion potions. I figured I could get the HP back that I would lose drinking Divine potions by using the Blowpipe special uh, and hoping it would hit and you know heal me. Gear wise, I swapped the Nezidot. The <coughs> Gear wise. Wow, what the fuck? <coughs> Gear-wise, I swapped the Nezanut Helm and the Black Dehyde with some Armadil Godhide, and that's it, really. But the important thing is... What the fuck is going on with my voice? <coughs> the important thing is 
that this change gave me confidence. First time doing fight caves, I got to Jed, and that's good enough for me. We can only, like, we can only go up from here. Wave 30, things were looking good. I was definitely faster this time. I felt more comfortable with running around and attacking stuff. The blowpipe uh, special strat was working. I was keeping up. I was, I, I, I was fucking balling. All right, guys. All right, I was fucking balling. Wave 53 comes around, and I started feeling it again. Cause like, the anxiety doesn't really come from fighting Jad. Well, kind of, sort of. Fighting Jad is hard, but it's more of that feeling of losing like an hour or so of your life, you know? If you don't make it. It feels like you wasted your time. You, um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Finally, wave 62. I get the orange mage boy in the middle. I know that's where Jad is gonna spawn. I just gotta keep calm and get to wave 63. Jad time. I'm feeling confident. I know I'm not gonna get hit a single time. Just kidding. Right off the start, I get hit immediately with a 64. Jad goes range, I pray mage like I'm a dumbass, don't judge, keep in mind, I am severely shitting my pants right now, right? I am 7 inches higher in my chair from all the feces piling up, but I recollect myself, I grew up, and I just keep saying that the attacks out loud like I'm commentating my own fight caves run. The moment that would break or make my fight caves run, the moment where the healers come out, but this time it's different, I successfully tag all the healers so that it's easier for me to like see the little fuckers and eventually click on every one of them. I keep running around, I keep clicking on the healers until they are all on me, but after a little while, I decided that I would stop focusing on Jad and just uh, kill the healers so that they wouldn't distract me. Now to some of you, <laughs> to some of you, that might not seem the wisest of choices, but again, I was some new, I, w I was on some new shit at this moment. I felt fucking enlightened when I thought of this. Kill a healer, pray, restore, kill a healer, pray, restore, maybe brew up. I kept doing this like my life depended on it, alright? I, 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 like Jad was keeping my family hostage and the only way I could see them again was if I got the fire key. Please, mom, calm down. I finish off the last healer, I click on Jad, and now it's game on. I was so fucking concentrated, I could hear my own blood flowing through my body. My heart was gonna jump out of my chest and, and into the screen at any time. I was so close. I could feel the fire tape. Oh my god! Whoa, what the fuck? Holy! No fucking way! Oh shit! No fucking way I did it! No! Jesus! Oh my fucking god, man. I actually, I, dude, I actually got, I actually, like an actual fire cape. I did this. This, I did this. Dude, I'm fucking speechless. I am speechless. What the fuck? Guys, if I can do it, you can do it too. Let's fucking go. Go get yours. Go get yours. Let's fucking go!